it's Kim from Babies on the Run and I'm back in Tina's kitchen. Tina is um, Tina Squire, she is a um, Zest for Life practitioner and we're just going to have a look at something really quite quite impressive, probably yeah. not the right word, but yeah. quite interesting really, yeah. um, at what your average healthy eating, low calorie diet, the sort of thing that people tend to go for if they're trying to drop a few pounds and yeah. be good. Yeah. So um, if you want to have a healthy, seemingly healthy breakfast, you can go for an egg so simple. Uh, this, this, however, has three teaspoons of sugar in it. But yeah, that would be breakfast. And then um, seemingly healthy granola bar or fusley bar. This is uh, for a snack. Sort of yeah. yeah. And then you can have a healthy lunch. This is a salad, uh, rustic roast beetroot and butternut squash um, salad. And uh, if you want to have the good crisps with that, we've got some baked Walker's crisps with that. And then you have uh, maybe a snack in the afternoon, yeah. some dried fruit we've talked about before. This is a quite a small pot of dried fruit, but it's got 10 teaspoons of sugar in it. That is, so that's quite huge. shocking, isn't it? I could, yeah. <laughs> I could quite easily eat that. It's a huge, yeah. huge hit of sugar all in one go. Uh, natural, but a huge hit of sugar. Yeah. Um, so, and that's presuming you're having water with all of this. But in the evening, we're going to have a yakitori chicken noodles with yeah. uh, some apple juice, just okay. a, a 250 ml kind of glass of apple juice. Um, and the apple juice is uh, how many teaspoons? Six teaspoons of sugar just in this. So a lot of and that's the thing that's not unusual for like the children to be no. having and that's no. kind of like healthy breakfast type stuff and yeah <laughs> yeah and you know I'm not saying don't give juice to kids but my advice would be dilute it you know, yeah you don't need it this strong or this sugar yeah and really. then the other thing is is just the effect that has on the blood sugar because that's that's a straight hit there's yeah. nothing breaking that down there's no fiber stopping it no. there's nothing that is no. a straight hit to the blood sugar yeah. that is woo, silly yeah <laughs> sorry now the interesting thing is yeah this is we then look at how much sugar so that's a if you're counting calories that yeah. is a 1600 calorie day okay so it's pretty low calorie I was day, say, a day could yeah i would have to say back in the day when i was trying to, to you know if i was trying to lose weight and be good in my 20s that's pretty much my day yeah, that would be do, yeah. you know trying to be healthy yeah now we're going to look at how much sugar me now actually goes into all <laughs> of this in one day a little bit more actually so that is 147 grams of sugar in a low calorie, healthy, seemingly healthy diet day. So oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's just not good for you. That is disgusting. Nobody, no, no one's body should have to deal with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is really, that is shocking. That's your immune system gone, your hormones yeah. through the web, your kids climbing the walls. <laughs> yeah. That is, that is dangerous. Yeah. Silly, yeah. silly amount of food, but actually, like I say, this is, and I would have considered myself, probably I wasn't in the industry, but I would have considered myself quite a careful eater, a healthy eater, yeah. and I have to say, quite often what I hear is people say, um, I, you know, I'm quite a healthy eater, mm. and quite often, ultimately, this is the sort of stuff that I'll see on their food diaries, and it's really hard because the people that are eating this sort of stuff are they're trying to do the right thing yeah, absolutely. and they think they are doing the right thing yeah. and that's what annoys me i don't know how you feel but more than anything is the lack of information out there that, yeah you yeah. know and actually it's it, it, it's not easy i wouldn't say it's easy at all but i suppose the general guideline is try and eat clean as clean yeah. as possible try and eat as, as few products ready-made products anything that anybody has made in a factory for you to eat yeah and and you'll be much better off straight eat away. food that comes from plants yeah. not in plants not made in plants yeah that's it guys um brilliant i think that i think that's so really interesting that's completely freaked me out i hope it has you as well <laughs> <laughs> and uh i hope you got you looking a little bit closer at your diet read labels guys just have a look at the labels and this is this has ruined my day, to be honest. Okay guys, have a good week. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>